Hey makers, this is Truvin and in this episode I am going to talk about the new formatting pen in Power BI Desktop. This new feature has been rolled out in November 2021 Power BI Desktop update. So now let's talk about what are the enhancement and improvement area in new formatting pen in Power BI. One more important announcement. I launched my own Instagram and Twitter page where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. So please do follow me on my Instagram account. The links are available over here or maybe in the description box. So let's get started. Here I am on my machine and here I have opened Power BI desktop with the latest version of November 2021. So make sure that you update your Power BI desktop with the latest version. After that you just need to enable one preview feature. For that go to options and setting and click on options. Go to the preview feature and make sure that new format pane is enabled. Just click on ok and close your Power BI desktop and reopen it. Once you open that, you will be able to see this type of new format panel in Power BI. Now let's discuss about the new format pen in detail and let's compare it with the older version of format pen. So let me just open up my presentation deck and get started with the same. So the first important thing which has been introduced as a new pivot icons. Now what do we mean by those pivot icons? So it means by this one. So let's say for an example. Uh, whenever we click on any visualization at that time this format visual icon will be appear for you and let's say when you haven't selected any visual means the page is being selected and if you want to configure the page property then it is providing this icon for the format page so this is the easy distinguishing between the visualization and page and earlier everything was into the same one so this is one change Second thing is that moving the visualization types gallery means when you uh, move across with this formatting option it will automatically hide this particular section and let's say whenever we select this chart and whenever we go to add data to your visual only at that time this visualization pen will be appear for you but for the rest of the information it will hide in automatically and it we have a better room space for our formatting pen so this is cool another important change is redesign the compact toggle so you are able to see this new type of compact toggle has been introduced into new format pen earlier it was looking like this but now it is like this one now the another difference is splitting the visual specific versus general setting now what happened here is earlier in the format pen all the changes are available as a large scrolling option so whenever you select any graph at that time you are able to see all the graph property like this now some of the common changes which is applicable for all the visualization they are called as a general property so now in the visualization section under format visual it has two tabs visual and general and in general what happen here is all the basic properties title effect header icon tool tips like this will be appearing into this section and rest of the visual specific property will be available into this particular section so this is another important cool update so over here let's say i selected this chart so i'm able to see all the general property and visual property under format pen right the next important update is new global revert to default option now this is one of my favorite feature that has been introduced Sometimes what happens here is when we are working with the themes and uh, let's say you already apply some data colors on your visualization and you wanted to revert your setting back then what you need to do here is you need to go to every individual property and then you are clicking on revert to default. Now this is global revert to default option so if we open up our Power BI desktop and if we go here uh, and click on this general property and just check revert all settings to default then what happen here is it will revert it to default properties right so this is cool also one more important option is provided here is subcategories so earlier this option was not present 
like uh, in earlier format when uh, if you expand your x axis or y axis property you will be able to see double scroll option over here and you are able to see all this thing in a flat manner but now it comes up with a great solution here it has divided the subcategory introduce the subcategory so even if you expand the x axis you can see the different subcategories uh, for which you wanted to set up your value right and this is available for all out of the box visualization as well and if there is any custom visual in your report uh, then it also provide the api to create the subcategory within it for the developers so this is one more enhancement or update so let's say i selected this visualization i expanded x axis and you can see these are all the subcategories right so this is cool also if you wanted to expand all subcategories you can simply choose expand all subcategories and it will open the all subcategories over here now you don't have double scroll bar available into formatting pen earlier you have that particular thing over here now with the new format pen you can see now we don't have double scroll bar over here so this is cool another thing is hidden merge font settings now with this new update in the format pen we have all the font setting into a single line then you can customize the series mechanism now with this new update we have apply to setting option where we need to select the appropriate series and that will take effect of all the formatting options that you have provided so this is new enhancement similar way we have uh, another mechanism for button states so now uh, apply to setting option is provided over here for buttons where you can configure the different properties for on press on select on hover etc right so this is another thing then there is one more enhancement related highlighting match in the search so earlier when you are able to search it is not highlighting anything uh, it is just showing the search result to you now it has been enhanced with the yellow highlight like this there is one more enhancement has been happened which is hidden dynamic cards now what do we mean by those let me explain you with the practical thing so let's say this is one of the line chart which i have created here and now i have opened the formatting option so here you can see some of the properties like legend small multiple titles small multiple grids you can see this kind of explanation mark and whenever you hover over it it is providing some information that if you wanted to use this property you should have this kind of thing in your chat or on visual so this is being improved a lot so sometimes as a developer we are getting confused like you know this property is something which is available to this particular graph but it is not available for this graph then what's the reason sometimes the graph mechanism in, is not in such a manner that this property is configurable over here so that's why it is providing some tips and that is really useful as a developer right so this is the same thing the another important update is around order naming convention and information hierarchy Microsoft has rearranged, renamed and added missing unit and consolidated settings to behave the consistent across all the visual. Also, there is one more enhancement around the analytics pen over here. So Microsoft has introduced the new format pen style for analytics pen as well. So it has the similar style like the format pen. So these are all the important enhancement that has been done for new format pen. Now let's talk about couple of limitations. The first important limitation is the action card for button image and shape responsive toggle and data limit settings are currently missing. Second thing is that numeric input may not render input properly for the overflowing text. Third thing is that red borders may appear around some of the controls when first opening the pan. Fourth important limitation is in scatter chart category labels are missing a few property. Also, some of the visuals have not been updated with the subcategories and this will be updated in upcoming future release and those visuals are Azure Maps, E3 Maps, Power Automate and Decomposition Tree. So you don't see subcategory options over there. So this is all about new format pen in Power BI Desktop. Hope you love this concept and this video helps you and values your time. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I have created a separate channel called Digital Dhruvin when I am uploading short content on Power Platform. So do subscribe this channel as well. Also, 
If you are looking for any training or consultancy, here is a website. Click on that. If you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles, here is the link. If you wanted to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, these are the URLs. And if you wanted to listen audio podcast, this is the podcast channel. With this, this is Throwin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.